Good morning, you guys. Today is the day that I get in this. It is 9-6-22, September the 6th. And um, it's two o'clock in the morning. Um, I can't sleep. I am anxious, but that's not why I can't sleep. Sorry, you guys, for you know, I have no shirt because this is how I sleep. <laughs> but um, I am having a lot of contractions, and they're like back to back. And I'm like, this would happen uh, today, right? <laughs> And I'm getting induced, but um, that's a good thing because hopefully I am naturally dilating um, on my own so that I won't have to worry about um, getting the Pitocin so much in my system or if any. Um, yeah, I'm definitely contracting like back to back, back to back. And I want to say it's due to the exercise that um, I was doing to help me naturally dilate, um, which can be found on part one. Yeah, so don't have to be to the hospital until seven. Yeah, but I just wanted to um, update on what I am experiencing actually having the contraction now, so I'm going to end this right now. All right, you guys, see you later. So we up in here. We up in here. It is 817. <sighs> Ready to be checked. I don't think it's going to be that small. <laughs> it's always that small. Type of stuff. It's so tiny. Right. Well, I love you. Oh. Oh, that's cute. So, you guys, it is... 9.55 now and I just got started with the Pitocin at 9.45 um I did dilate a little bit more naturally on my own at home um I was the last time I got checked um I was two and a half uh to three centimeters dilated now I'm three and a half, so close to four. Um, in the very first video, part one, uh, at the end, where I was showing what exercise I was doing to get baby to come down more. So actually, that worked, it worked. Maybe if I would've kept doing it, <laughs> I'll be like four to five, but I do have to get the Pitocin and hopefully it don't have to stay on that long. So, update again when I have new news. <laughs> All right. So as of now, the Pitocin is kicking in. What's that, every minute? Every two minutes, I was about to. <sighs> Being induced versus naturally dilating. It's totally two different feelings. I wanted to give, uh, I guess, a FYI. Um, I know that 
everybody's pregnancy is different. Everybody's pain tolerance is different. But I found it helpful to not to lay in bed during contractions because it hurt more when laying in the bed versus standing up. Um, I'm actually sitting on a ball now. So, uh, uh, sorry if I got no half of my behind in there, but it's not the whole thing. <laughs> um, I'm sitting on the ball now, and I actually feel good. My contractions is still picking up. They're still doing good. So, yeah. Hopefully we'll be having a baby soon. It says after nine now. And so that would be 12 hours of uh, me actually from when I started the Pitocin. Started at 9.45. I'm um, having a contraction now. I did not mention that I am going natural, no medication, um, no epidural at all. Um, I believe that Jesus is going to help me through this. And yeah, so they told me that I'm doing very great, very good. Um, just breathe through it. Try not to have your mind so focused on it. And um, <clears throat> prayer. Prayer works. So, I'll see you guys soon. Now I am, what she say, um, five to six centimeters dilated. So it's progressing. I just can't wait until I hear I'm 10, I'm 9 to 10. Um, yeah, I'm dealing with the contraction, still no medication at this time. Um, praying that I can make it all the way through. He definitely said that I'm doing good for me to be almost six centimeters um, dilated without um, getting any medication or the epidural or anything like that. So, praying that I can continue. And yeah. Great, okay. Let's have this baby. You guys can take pictures, but no videos. So we had a baby, and it wasn't on nine six September the seventh. And um, she is born. She's here. Things didn't go as planned. Um, I wanted to have a natural birth, but having preeclampsia changed all my plans. I was going well at first. Um, then 
my blood pressure went up really, really high. Um, they had to change my blood pressure medicine that I was taking to give me something else, um, which made me not able to move around anymore. So I had to stay in the bed because of the side effects of the medication. So I went all the way to seven centimeters uh, naturally without any medication. Then I decided to get the epidural because of the fact that I had to get um, a catheter put in and I was not getting that without being numb, <laughs> first of all. So I went on and went with that option. But, you know, some things just don't go as planned, especially when you have complications in your pregnancy. So, yeah. But, um, literally took 10 minutes to push her out. After getting the epidural, I went from seven to fully dilated, like within, it, it wasn't even that long. I wanna say, was it even an hour after she checked me? It may have been just one hour or under an hour. Um, yeah. And then when I saw pushing, it was so quick and easy. Baby girl only weigh four pounds, 14.4 ounces because of um, me having two uh, cord, they call it two vessel available cord. That's what it is. Two vessel available cord. Um, and also with me having preeclampsia, they was thinking um, that she wasn't getting uh, enough nutrients inside. So better out than in. She's here and she's going great. So I'm happy. Although I prayed for <laughs> a natural birth and it was a different outcome. It was already written. This is the way I was supposed to have her. These are the things I was supposed to go through in order to have her. Blessings doesn't come easy. I'm just watching her. She is a character already. Um, it is written that you must go through some things in order to get a blessing. So, what I endured was well worth it. <laughs>